So what is a linear function? Linear function is an equation where the graph is a straight line. The key here is a straight line. That's what makes something linear, or if it's not linear, we call it nonlinear. So make sure we have these written down. What is a linear function rule? I have rule capitalized there. That is an equation of a straight line. Rule means equation. So whenever you see what is the rule of the linear equation, we are trying to find the equation. What is the function rule means what is the equation. So let's get started. What is the rule of the linear function? So we want to find the equation. Remember, we only need to find two numbers, m and b. That is it. m is our rate or slope. b is our y-intercept or initial value. So here my y-intercept is 0. I make my slope triangle 1 over 1, rise over run, which just equals 1. So when I substitute these values into my equation, I get y equals x. Remember, we don't have to put plus 0. And if there is no number in front of x, but the x is there, that means there is a 1 in front of that x. So next, what is the rule of the linear function? Meaning, what is the equation? So again, let's write the equation down. We have slope. We have y-intercept. My y-intercept here is 0. My slope, I go down 1 and to the right 1, so rise over run. My slope is negative 1 y equals negative x. Again, do not need to put plus 0. And there is no number in front of x. There's the negative sign. When the x or a variable is there, the number 1 should be in front of that variable. So y equals negative x. What is the rule of the linear function? Again, we're trying to find the equation. We only need to find two numbers, m and b. My y-intercept, or initial value, is 0. And my slope, make my slope triangle. I rise 2, run 1. So it's 2 over 1, which reduces to 2. So I can substitute my values into my equation. y equals 2x. We do not need to put plus 0. We can just leave y equals 2x. What is the rule? Rule means equation. We only need to find two numbers, m and b. Here my b is negative 3. And find another point here on the line. It looks like my slope is 1 over 1. So my slope is just 1. So y equals, that would be 1x minus 3. Again, we do not need to put or write or type the 1 in front of a variable. If the variable is there, we should know that a 1 is in front of that variable every time. So, anytime the value of the x value of an equation has an exponent other than 1, the function is not linear. This is true. If you see any exponents in an equation, that means the equation is nonlinear. So let's look here. Here, I have an exponent of 2. That means this equation is nonlinear. This equation, I do not see an exponent. So that means the exponents are only 1. Therefore, we have a linear equation. You can find your slope of negative 3, and your y-intercept is 0. If you can find slope and y-intercept, chances are it's going to be linear. Next equation, my slope, the number in front of x. There is no number there. So if there's no number in front of a variable, that number is 1. My y-intercept is negative 2. Therefore, this is linear. This fourth equation, I can find my m is 4, the number in front of x. There is no plus b, so that means it is 0. My y-intercept is 0, so that is linear. 
Now here is another one we have to look for. Here the variable is in the denominator. Anytime a variable is in the denominator of a fraction, it is non-linear. So again, let's write linear or non-linear under the equation. So this is the same thing as y equals 1 half x. Because when we multiply x by a fraction, we multiply the numerator by x. So there's like a 1 in front of the x there. So that would be the same as y equals 1 half x. So my slope is 1 half, and my y-intercept is 0. Therefore, I found my slope, I found my y-intercept, the equation is linear. Here, exponent is in the denominator, therefore, it is nonlinear. And I'm going to put because the variable is in the denominator. Whenever the variable is in the denominator, it is nonlinear. Last one here, m equals 3, b equals 0. I found my slope. I found my y-intercept. That makes this equation linear. <clears throat> also, I don't see an exponent other than 1. The only one that was not covered here, which you had covered in previous years, is the absolute value. If y equals the absolute value of x, that makes the equation non-linear. So here, a swimmer burns 8.8 .8 calories per minute while swimming laps. Write a function rule, so write an equation to describe how many calories C the swimmer burns during any number of minutes m. So y equals mx plus b. So instead of y and x, we are going to use c because that's total calories. And instead of x, we are going to use m, which kind of gets confusing because m is slope. But when we find our slope, remember, we want to look for this per, per minute. That's telling me that minutes is my variable and the number in front, that 8.8, .8, is going to be my slope. So far, I have C equals 8.8M. .8 now, if you think about it, for any number of minutes, if you are swimming for zero minutes, how many calories have you burned swimming? The answer to that is zero. So the equation is C equals 8.8M. .8 if you put y equals 8.8x, that is fine. They mean the same thing. The directions just said total calories should be C, number of minutes should be M. Matt is, so Matt is. Remember, is means equals. All I've read is two words, and so far I have part of my equation. Matt is three and a half years older. Older means we are adding three and a half years to somebody. Matt is three and a half years older than Sam. So we are going to take Sam's age, add three and a half. That'll be how old Matt is. So this is a rule, rule means equation, that describes Matt's age during any given year. So depending on how old Sam is. So <clears throat> we want to know which of these solutions satisfies the equation given. Every single point. The first number is always x, second number is always y. x, y. Here's how we solve these. We'll do one point at a time. So I have my equation. You should notice in your equation that you have an x and a y, just like we have in our coordinate. So I'm going to rewrite the equation exactly how it is. Instead of y, I substitute negative 2, because I see that negative 2 equals y. That equals negative 7 over 2 times x, x is 2 plus 5. So now I have to simplify this side of the equation. If this side, after simplifying it, equals negative 2, that is the answer. If it does not simplify neg to negative 2, then a is not my answer. Let's see. Negative 7 over 2 equals 
negative 7, negative 7 plus 5 equals negative 2, therefore it works, and this is my answer. I'm going to do the second one and the third one to show you, well, first to see if they work and to show you what it looks like if they, the solution does not work. So negative 2 equals negative 7 over 2 times x. Again, my x value here is negative 2 plus 5. So I get 2 equals negative 7 over 2 times a negative 2. Negative times a negative is a positive. 2 equals, and then 7 plus 5 is 12. 2 does not equal 12, therefore b does not work. And for my last one here, I substitute 5 in for y. And I substitute 0 in for x. Negative 7 over 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 equals 5. Does 5 equal 5? Yes. So this, my two answers are A and C. So last one here. Which solutions satisfy the equation? So we have to check them all. Remember, the first number is x, second number is y. So I'm going to substitute negative 1 in for y. Then I have negative x, which is 0, minus 1. You can never have a negative 0. So negative 1 times 0 is just 0. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So check. A is one of these solutions. Let's see if B also works. So I substitute 0 in for y because 0 is my y coordinate. Negative 1 times negative 1. I substitute negative 1 in for x. Remember, this means negative 1 times x. So negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, and 0 does equal 0, check. So b is also a solution. Now let's check c. So I'm going to substitute negative 3 in for y, negative 2 in for x, and now I begin to solve. So negative 1 times a negative 2 is a positive 2. Positive 2 minus 1 equals 1, negative 3 does not equal 1, therefore that is not a solution.